This video is sponsored by thesnug.com for all your iPad accessories. Hello there, David Thompson here from the world of tech.net, taking a look at our product from thesnug.com. This is an iPad 2 case and it is the case cover and stand. It is an ultra thin one, as you can see here, and it's available from thesnug.com along with a whole range of other products. So if we get, begin first things first, you will notice it looks incredibly like the iPad 2 Smart Cover. However, it's not because it has an addition. And this is where the iPad 2 case, the Smart Cover, went fatally wrong. It did not have a back cover to protect the back of the device. It just had the front cover to protect the front. So if we take the iPad 2 and slot it into this case very easily, just place it in like so, into the corners, then apply moderate pressure to each corner and it will clip right into place and now this isn't going to go anywhere it is completely secure and in the case and plus no big black things coming around onto the corner it stays on the side it's very minimalistic and very minimal minimalized it's not in your face so if we take a look at the front it's got a metal grainy effect it, it's black and it looks very nice indeed and it's got a nice discreet grey engraved logo in the top right corner snug and that's perfect that just makes it look brilliant in my opinion now if you open it out here we have on the left hand side a nice soft material to protect the screen and what I have noticed about this case which is brilliant and it's another fatal error in the smart cover where these lines are you will not find these lines on your screen a few weeks after use. Whereas on the smart cover you do, I found big lines of muck down my screen. Whereas this, it doesn't happen with this. I really do like this case. And it comes in at an amazing price at £34 this. Which is significantly cheaper than the iPad 2 smart cover. If we flip it over onto its back, here we have it styled again with a nice texture to match the front and it looks brilliant. And round the sides we have it made out of full plastic to add extra protection from drops. Here we have a nice stylish cutout for the speaker, a combined cutout with the dock connector. We have the volume and lock switch. On the top we have earphones, microphone, rear facing camera and the lock button. I really do like the way this case is constructed, it feels high quality, it feels exactly like an iPad 2 smart cover. It has the auto lock ability so when you open it, it will automatically unlock your iPad. So close it, open it, it unlocks your iPad. However it is a bit faulty, it doesn't work every time, it may be something to do with my iPad or it may be do something to do with something with the case, but not every time does it unlock the screen but it does unlock the screen now if we just fold it up like that just like the smart cover so it does have the standability and fold it over we now have the iPad like a stand so this case acts double acts as a stand as well which is brilliant and it's pretty sturdy I can't see it going anywhere just like the smart cover but better that's my final verdict on this product is stylish, it's going to protect your iPad from drops, scuffs, it's going to 100 protect your iPad. All you need in addition with this is a screen protector to stop the screen getting all dirty with fingerprints and just having a screen protector and scratches of course, but that's all you're going to need is this case and it looks brilliant and it doesn't add much bulk onto the iPad at all, it keeps the nice minimalistic design of the iPad which is brilliant. I really do love this case, it is my most favourite case I have reviewed so far and it is available for £34.99 from the snug.com. Really, this is very impressive indeed. Be sure to follow the snug on Twitter, it is at the snug. Ask them any questions there about their products and also be sure to follow us on Twitter. Join in the discussion about news topics, about the website, updates, all that good stuff at, at World of Tech UK. Be sure to head over to theworldoftech.net and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.